evening from London. Welcome to Piers Morgan Uncensored. If your son or daughter got into a fight at school, you probably want to hear about it. I know I would. The same would apply if they were being bullied or falling behind in class. Clearly, parents have a right to know what's happening in their children's lives so they can offer support in whatever way they can. So what about if your child decides to transition to another gender? You probably want to know about that, wouldn't you? I've had four kids. I'd want to know. But it turns out that a shocking number of schools in Britain think you, as parents, have no right to know that. Children are being allowed to change their names, their uniforms and their personal pronouns, that dreaded phrase, using different toilets and changing rooms without their parents having a clue about any of this happening. Just 39 of 304 schools investigated by the policy exchange think tank said they informed parents if their own child said they wanted to change gender. In many cases, parents only found out when they got a letter from the post citing their child's new name and new pronouns as a point of fact. Think about that. That's how the parents found out their kids had decided to change their gender and their name. Most school surveys said they're actively teaching the contested theory that children may have a different gender than their biological sex. This is completely outrageous. It's policy driven by fear of the woke mob, something I've talked about many times, but this is what I'm talking about. Schools are so afraid of being eviscerated for not tolerating the latest whim of gender ideology that they're failing in their duty to both parents and the kids. Scandals like the Tavistock Clinic, remember that? Where hundreds of children were handed puberty blockers despite having other, in most cases, other complicated mental health problems show the importance of getting this right. Children with gender dysphoria need intensive care and support from adults with their best interests at heart. But we shouldn't be afraid to point out that many of them might have other problems. Others may simply be gay. Gender identity has become a fad, a craze, virtually unheard of a few decades ago, to almost unavoidable in schools today. When things in our society change this much this fast, we have a right to at least discuss it. And parents should be at the very heart of that conversation. 